Hey guys, Dino here, and as you can probably guess by the fact I'm holding this bottle, or a bottle, um, I'm doing another beer tasting video, and this one I've been really, really looking forward to. Um, I've had this bottle for three months now. Um, it arrived uh, as part of the larger uh, beer mail package that was kindly sent to me by Les from Two Hands Brewing. And uh, Les, if you're watching, I'm sure you will be. I'm finally getting around to trying your Jeffries. Uh, I'll just read what's on the label. It's a Johnny Walker double black whiskey and oak infused Russian Imperial Stout clocking in at a hefty 11%. And check out that label. It's a fantastic label. Now, I've had a close look. I'm pretty sure that's not you, Les. So I'm assuming it's uh, someone you know, a friend or a family member, possibly uh, named Jeff. So yeah, let us know more about the mysterious guy. I actually thought it looked a bit like Zane Maxwell. Um, hopefully not offended by that Zane, but yeah, I thought it had a, a touch of Zane about it. So there we go. Um, but I've poured the beer up in advance just so that it can get to... Uh, closer to room temperature anyway. It's been poured for about uh, 20 minutes. And there it is there. Fantastic looking colour. Jet black. No light getting through that at all. Even when I hold it up to the window, I can't see any light. So it is pitch black. Um, there was a slight hiss on the bottle when I poured it. Um, so I know it's, it's fairly lowly carbed or low in carbonation. Um, but it's holding a nice sort of, I'd call it like a, a, a thin ring of ring of head on the top. Um, nice sort of mocha bubbles, coloured bubbles. So that's fantastic. Thank you very much for this, Les. Um, I think I may have saved the best for last. Um, although it's you can't really compare a Russian Imperial Stout to a Pale Ale. I mean, they're both fantastic beers. You know, Pale Ales, you can't beat them. Um, in a, on a hot summer's day, you'd probably prefer to drink one of those. So that's why I've saved this for out for the middle of winter. So let's get a nose on it. Ooh. While it's been warming up, I'm, I was getting slight whiffs, but now I'm getting a larger whiff of of the uh, the whiskey. Definite hits of that whiskey coming off the top, and then it's sort of um, blended in with that the oak, so whiskey and oak, and then slight, um, it might be quite an intense uh, roasted malt um, aroma, but it's because you've got the alcohol there as well, it's, um, it's coming through as a little bit um, more subtle, but a beautiful aroma. So I'm going to dive in guys, so yes, this is going to be an epic beer, I can tell already. Just from the aroma, who kicked up a nice head when I swirled around. So let's take a mouthful. Oh yes, I knew it was going to have a nice. Just from the aroma, I knew the flavour was going to be, you know, several notches um, up from that. And um, yes, yeah, it definitely is. It's got a real rich. real rich, um, full flavour to it. Um, once again, I'm picking out that whiskey on the on the taste. And um, yeah, the, the whiskey, the oak, more of the roasted malts are now coming through in the flavour, not so much on the aroma. Ooh, it smells good. I'm not 100% sure, and Les, you can if you can put this in the comments as well, but I think you alluded to the fact that this might be coming up for a, a year old. So yeah, going for another mouthful. It's very, very um, easy drinking, very smooth. If it is coming up for a year, um, that's coming through in the flavour everything's nice and um, 
balanced and every everything's mellowed you know if there were any if there were any harsh harshnesses early on in its life you know from the roasted malts or the whiskey or the oak they've all sort of smoothed out and you've got a real nice um, balanced Russian Imperial stout there the, the flavors the flavor is just so rich um, it's it's not syrupy or anything, but it's it's really. Th I was going to say it's really thick, and when you when you take a mouthful, it really coats your tongue. That is fantastic. I mean, they, there was enough in there. It was at five hundred mils. You could um, probably shed that out about with about four different people. Not that I want to. And everyone would be happy to have their, you know, their little glass. They could just sip on it and savor it. That's how much flavor is packed into um, each mouthful. They say, um, what is it? A stout. There's a steak in every every glass. Well, I think with this, you can say there's probably three steaks in every glass. Well, we've done a cracking job there, Liz. I hope you still have some left. Um, I suspect you've probably drunk most of it by now, but yeah, there's like I'm getting uh, more, getting like dark fruit as well, and chocolate, um, like dark chocolate. Not not there's no there's no sweet sickly sort of milk chocolate. It's all dark flavors, dark chocolate, um, dark fruit, the oak, the whiskey. Yeah, you've just done a marvelous job with that, mate. I'll be very, very proud of that. And uh, yeah, it's been a real privilege to try it. I'm not going to um, drink the rest in a hurry. I'm going to sit down and savour this probably over the course of an hour or so. And just let it warm up some more and try and get some more um, aroma and flavour out of it. But yeah, the, the whole top part of the glass is just packed with um, beautiful aroma. That is fantastic. Okay, guys, well, I might stop there before I sort of wander off into a, uh, what do you call it, waffling uh, um, pathway. But um, all I can say is that's uh, fantastic, but I don't think I've had a, a better Russian Imperial Stout than that one, Liz. So 10 out of 10 as far as I'm concerned, mate. Um, I could definitely go back for, for more of these, so... Thank you very much, and um, yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Um, stay tuned for the next video, and enjoy the rest of your week. Over and out, guys. Cheers.